do you know about the U.S. Army's Fort Detrick Labs? Do you know they researched on dangerous viruses for decades? Chinese officials carrying out a propaganda-fueled war of words and tweets. The apparent intention to muddy the waters in the search for the origin of COVID-19 and to potentially deflect responsibility for the virus's global spread. CNN combing through months of digital data analysis that shows a combined push of conspiracy theories carried out by official Chinese government accounts, state media, and a broader group of Chinese online influencers. <laughs> the propaganda push coinciding with the highly politicized World Health Organization source tracing mission. Did you find anything inside? Last month, as the WHO's international team of experts traveled to Wuhan, CNN found that China's sophisticated propaganda machine flooded both social and state media Mr. Secretary, with several origin theories, including one to counter the Trump administration's own unsupported allegation that the virus leaked from the Wuhan Institute of Virology lab, a theory the visiting WHO scientist essentially ruled out before leaving China last week. The laboratory uh, incident um, hypothesis is uh, extremely unlikely but in recent weeks, Chinese officials have doubled down on their own lab origin theory, renewing a conspiracy that the virus began in the U.S., specifically here at the U.S. Army's Fort Detrick Medical Research Lab in Maryland. Inspectors for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention briefly halted work here in 2019 to investigate safety concerns. There is no evidence the virus originated in the U.S., but China's state media saw an opportunity. Beginning in March of last year, as the virus started sweeping across the world, they published stories surrounding the Fort Detrick lab and a possible leak. A foreign ministry spokesperson went a step further, tweeting last March that it might be the U.S. Army who brought the epidemic to Wuhan. Soon after, China's government-controlled broadcaster began airing many documentaries on the Fort Detrick conspiracy theory. For 10 months, China's foreign ministry has relentlessly pushed the conspiracy. And just as the WHO field team arrived in Wuhan in January to investigate the origin, Chinese officials once again voiced their version of a possible lab leak. I'd like to stress that if the United States truly respects facts, it should open the biological lab at Fort Detrick, give more transparency to issues like its 200-plus overseas bio labs, and invite WHO experts to conduct origin tracing in the United States, the spokesperson said. That clip of the foreign ministry spokesperson went viral online, circulating on both Western and Chinese social media. CNN reviewed data analysis of internet searches in China. It shows that after the initial push of the conspiracy theory in March 2020, search interest in Fort Detrick remained relatively flat for nearly a year, only to surge once again in January, just as the WHO source tracing field mission got underway in Wuhan. During that time, more than 230,000 posts using the Fort Detrick hashtag were viewed more than 1.48 billion times on social media platform Weibo. And the foreign ministry hashtag attracted more than 210,000 posts with 790 million views. China has also floated the theory that the virus originally got into Wuhan through imported frozen foods. As CNN uncovered late last year, that theory has led to hazmat-like handling of international cargo. And it's encouraged Chinese state media to label the virus as an imported threat, suggesting it even started that way. The range of origin theories, an attempt to seemingly deflect blame and sow doubt in ever uncovering this devastating and deadly pandemic's true source. David Culver, CNN, Shanghai.